Hi. My name is Mark Hasselbert. I'm a sound designer from Denmark. This is a game audio implementation showcase where I've built a system in Max MSP which allows me to redesign the audio for a short linear video clip by interactive means and whites, almost as if it was running from an engine. And in this case, it's for Hitman 3. Let's have a listen. I've built this system in Max, which sends triggers and events to wise time to the video clip, which allows me to run this as an interactive dynamic system, thus mimicking the use of an engine and being able to set switches, states, RTPCs, and so on. Of course, the gameplay events in the linear video remain the same at every loop, but I am able to dynamically change parameters to introduce variance and nuance, as is expected from an actual game audio system. The communication between Max and Wise is simply MIDI note on messages for triggers and MIDI CC for RTPCs. I constructed a workflow consisting of initially pinpointing every trigger and event in the video, marking their description and timecode in Reaper, and then exporting these markers as a formatted list. This list is then read and parsed in Max, and triggers are routed to the individual MIDI note messages, with the video's current timecode and description syncs up with the event, and the given Wise event will trigger. This does mean I have to place the markers for every single audio event in Reaper the first time around, which can be and was fairly time consuming. But I can then change the markers, re-export the list, and Max will then dynamically update the trigger positions, thus saving me a lot of time if small adjustments were needed, which they were. Of course this approach is in no way as direct, easy to use, or flexible as an actual engine implementation, but it's more supposed to be an appendix to a, either a redesign situation or further make it into a fully fledged testbed for middleware implementation, which is something I often find myself missing in Wise's Soundcaster sessions. The ability to fire off events without an active engine and controllable dynamic patterns. I so to speak fake the use of distance attenuation by RTPCs by simply placing certain triggers during the video clip and interpolating between the values at certain speeds. Send this as a MIDI CC value to Wise and that will effectively control the RTPC simulation value, which allows me to use it for my redesign purpose. And just for the sake of demonstration, the gunshots are composed of a number of recordings of assorted tools from my toolbox, such as wire strippers, a desoldering tool, a box cutter, and a bicycle pump, and other such things. These are simply mixed and wise, and certain assets have randomized trigger delays to introduce a sense of kickback and mechanical weight to the design. A very simple implementation solution, but with fairly satisfying results. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Goodbye.